In the previous video, we talked about identifying your area of interest, and in this video, we're gonna talk about understanding where it is that you might be able to add value. What is your role in the public health space? Hi, my name is Greg Martin. I'm trying to help students and young professionals think through how it is that they're gonna fit into the global health space. The next video is gonna focus on the skills that you're gonna need, and the one after that is gonna focus on the kinds of organizations that you might wanna work for. So let's talk about the roles that you might wanna play and how it is that you're gonna add value in global health. The reason that this is an important question is that there's so many possible avenues that you could go down. When you're looking at job adverts, you could just randomly apply for anything that you see, but you'd be better off refining your search and narrowing your search and applying for jobs where you really feel that that position is suited for you. And I wanna try and help you understand what the options are. This is really about thinking through where it is that you're gonna fit in. And the trick here is to ask the right questions. I've divided the questions into firstly, where do you wanna work? Secondly, what are your strengths? What are your interests? And finally, what do you wanna be doing on a day-to-day -day basis? In thinking about these questions, let's do a little thought exercise. Let's imagine a hypothetical global health organization. Now this organization will have certain generic traits and it'll employ people to fill specific roles. So for example, this organization might have its headquarters in Geneva or New York City, and it may have country offices in Africa. And you need to decide where it is that you wanna work, what physical location do you wanna be in? The organization structure might include senior management and leadership, an operations team that includes finance, admin, human resources, project managers that get things done, monitoring and evaluation staff, communications officer, a resource mobilization team or fundraisers, and frontline implementers that are getting things done. So firstly, just to help you think through the question of where it is that you wanna work. Decide if you wanna work in a developing or developed country. Now you might wanna work and get experience in the front line, in the healthcare in a rural area of a developing country. And that'll be a great way to get experience if you're young. Or you might wanna work in a developing country with the Department of Health and get involved with policy and planning. You might be from a developing country and you might wanna impact global health issues at the headquarters of an organization like the WHO or UNICEF or the World Bank. And so you might wanna live in one of those cities in Geneva or New York or you might be from a rich country and you might wanna stay close to home for personal reasons. You might have kids, you might be married, it might be difficult for you to travel and go to a developing country. The next question is what are your interests, what are your strengths, where's your experience? In the previous video in this series, I focused on helping you identify what your interests are and if you haven't watched that, go back and watch that now. I'm not gonna be able to cover all of that detail in this video. And so we'll move on to the final question and this is important. You need to think through what it is that you wanna do on a day-to-day -day basis. What does your day look like? When you get out of bed, what's ahead of you? Would you like to be working for a funding organization and be evaluating applications from implementing partners and monitoring the progress of projects that you funded? Or would you like to be on the other side of that and working with a team that plans interventions? Or do you wanna be on the front line, implementing and doing the project management of these interventions? You might wanna work across an organization and help with the communication of that organization's messages to stakeholders. Or you might be interested in collecting and making sense of data. Do you wanna advocate for change in an area that you feel is important? Do you wanna work alone or do you wanna work on a team? Or do you wanna manage a team and focus on a process? Or you might wanna be involved with the smooth running of the organization in general or you might wanna be involved with fundraising and resource mobilization. In any event, you're gonna to need to think through what it is that you wanna do on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you've thought about these questions, you'll be able to narrow down your search. And you'll be able to say, for example, I'd like to work in a developing country. I'd like to work on project management. And specifically, I'd like to work with a team that's doing implementation of public health programs. Or I'd like to work in Geneva. I'd like to work as a communications officer. And I'd like to work in the area of advocacy. The more you can narrow down how and where and what it is you wanna to do to add value, the more you're gonna be able to identify the right career opportunities for you. The next video is gonna be about the essential skills you need to be effective in the global health space. And the one after that is gonna be about the organizations you might wanna work for. I hope you found this useful. I'm gonna place a link in the description below this video to a playlist on videos on careers in global health. I've made a few of them. This YouTube channel also has teaching videos on epidemiology, ethics, uh, finding and using data, etc. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.